Hello, it's Joy Olson of Blockbuster Fundraising, and here it is, October 1st, with only 92 fundraising days left in 2016. Today we are again concentrating on Roger Craver's Retention Fundraising. It's a book that I really love and recommend. Yesterday we spoke of the eight main reasons that donors stop supporting organizations. And today we're moving forward with why they do support. Roger Craver went over a list of 32 possibilities that donors support your organization. And then he identified the seven most influential reasons that your donors will support you. And they are ranked in order. So let's take a look at this very important list. First and foremost, your donors believe that you are absolutely achieving your mission. Your communications to them, they believe in you and they think you're doing a great job. Secondly, your donors know what to expect from you. They've interacted with you long enough and there are no surprises and they like that. Third on the list, your donors receive timely thank yous and they feel good about that. You've made them feel that they are important to the mission. And fourthly, they feel that they can express their opinion. So you've probably done some surveys, given some calls, and you've made them feel important. Good for you. Your donors are sticking around because they feel like they're a part of your cause. You've made them the hero of what you're doing and they feel appreciated. And how important is that? That is everything to feel appreciated. You are also doing a great job of getting information to your donors that shows the impact of their gift. They feel like they are doing something important. And these are the main reasons that your donors are sticking around. There is so much good information smashed into this wonderful book by Roger Craver, Retention Fundraising. I really suggest you pick it up. So this is Joy Olson signing off with today's tip on October 1st. We are coming to you daily now through and including December 31st. Tomorrow, Sunday, we're going to look at an October to-do list. And next week, we're going to concentrate the entire week on major gifts. There are so many great thought leaders in fundraising that really cover major gifts from Veritas Group, Gail Perry, and Amy Eisenstein. And let's take a look at what they're all saying that you can do from now through December 31st to make your major gifts area really count. Okay, this is Joy Olson of Blockbuster Fundraising saying goodbye for today. Be sure to come back tomorrow for more daily tips. We're here now through and including December 31st trying to back you up with the great ideas so that you can experience Blockbuster results this year of 2016. Check out the blockbusterfundraising.com webpage. The blog there is good. Lots of video blogs and of course we're active on Facebook every single day trying to help you in some important way. See you soon. Thanks for being here. Bye-bye.